had to give up a lot of extracurricular stuff that was in my career. I used to do a lot more leadership roles. And what I've learned from other people, other teachers, is that when they had their small children, they gave that up. hard? Are you an overachiever perfectionist that usually is like on top of everything? It was extremely hard and I still find myself saying, oh I can do that and then having to say, no wait, I can't do that. And that is the most difficult thing. So did it put a strain on you personally? Did you have any kind of a meltdown? Did it ever put a strain on your marriage? Because, because you know, you change and you're not always ready for those changes. It's definitely put a strain on my marriage because I still want to go out and do those things. Um, and my husband has had to say, no, you are stressing yourself out and you're trying to do too much. And we found a balance more. And especially now that my daughter's in elementary school and my son's getting older, it is getting easier. But there was definitely times where I know I overstressed myself. And then I couldn't do anything because I was too stressed. So. But now you have it all, right? You're one of those moms we all look up to and say, she's got it all. She's juggling perfectly. That is the funny thing is if I listed everything I do, people would say, wow, you're doing so much. You're doing it all. I don't necessarily feel that way, but it is something to look at and say, no, I really do. I am doing what I want. I'm living my best life, so I shouldn't judge myself compared to what I think other people are doing. And I've had to step back and say, I don't have to do it perfectly. I can just do it to get it done. How do you get to that point? Because one of the reasons I'm doing this channel is because a lot of women put all those burdens on themselves, like you said, judge themselves, and and you have to go through an evolution. But what do you think it was that really got you out of that point where you realize, I don't have to do everything perfect? Um, it's taken me 30 plus years, and I found peers and friends that support me, basically, is kind of what has take, gotten me to that point. Otherwise, yeah. Where'd you get those group of friends? Were they at work? Were they other moms you met in, you know, Lama's class? Were they, you know, what, where did you find those friends and how often do you see them? It's mostly, it's an online feminist group that I met, I started meeting up with and that's, that's what's kind of, we support each other and that's what's gotten me through it, I'd say. So you have an online group of friends. That's awesome, because that's one of the things I'm trying to create here. It's a tribe of mom friends that work and tell each, all of us that, you know what, we don't have to be perfect. We can admit our failures. Don't you think it helps when you hear about their fails? It, that's exactly what helps, and it, it just helps, because then, because it's a little more private than just totally social media, y y nobody's trying to put their best face out there. So and, we, you, and you admit some of your flaws, too? All the time. What, what is one of the ones that you've admitted online? Just I think that sometimes I wish I, I could do more and I know I have to pull back. And um, with other people I always want to be like, yeah, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. No, with them I'm like, eh, I can't do it. I think as women we're expected to do so much. And I find myself, you know, at home when my husband's home and my kids come up and ask me something saying, your father is here, go ask him. And that has helped me to put those limits on, your dad's here. I'm not the only one. I am not I do not always have to be the point person.